Hello guys, AJ here. So this is going to be more of a serious video, but a friend of mine had recently got their account attempted to be hacked, or by a scam, or rather, trying to get his account um, taken away from him, which, or, you know, compromised, or whatever the f*** you want to call it. Um, it's really shitty. I'm going to link this blog in the description below. Uh, this whole don't fall for the accidentally reported you scam. I actually, we actually got to witness this firsthand. And it's crazy to think about um, that this shit's still happening. I think it's really crap. I know that, I mean, you might be thinking, oh, then don't don't fall for it. Like, how hard is it to fall for it? Well, two things. Well, not everyone on the internet is very well inversed with this whole scamming, you know, idea. As well as it's not common that, like, it ever happens. I mean, we, we, all, we all know the dangers of the internet, um, but people out there it's just like the thing certain words can happen people can give the benefit of the doubt um in the case of my friend uh, they're they're a super kind soul and did believe that it was legitimate but you know these these are mistakes that happen and you know everyone should learn from it and right now i'm just spreading awareness that if you ever see this shit completely ignore it even if it's a fucking prank just like it's a shitty prank if you try something like this like what the hell is wrong with you um but yeah, don't, don't ever fall for, if you ever see this line, ignore it. Anyway, the hilarious thing was, this blog pretty much is the play-by-play -play for everything that happened to my friend's account. So, the first thing that will happen is they'll start, they'll, they'll throw in this somewhere. The I accidentally reported you, or you've been reported in some sort of way, uh, to get your attention. If I actually go to this screenshot that I have, uh, the, the following images will have three screenshots have different points of where this blog highlights actually does happen so as you can see on the top left it's showing that this guy and I'm, I'm leaving this guy's name because he deserves to be exposed this this whole thing here where it's like I have something important to tell you I made a terrible mistake towards your account again iterating that whole account thing my friend didn't know who it was responds in such a way um, you don't know me I accidentally reported your account. There's there's the immediate red flag we should be very careful of. I accidentally reported your account. So it's ironic. It's like, oh, I, re I reported your account for scammers as a scammer. Like, that, like, it's fucking cringe. Anyway, you can see this is him opening up the conversation to my friend. Scammers are straightforward but polite. Some are more forceful, but regardless of the fact, they'll always say that they um, reported, uh, they accidentally reported something. The next thing that they'll follow up with is the help. Pretty much what they'll do is they'll try to refer to you towards a Steam admin. Yeah, so here's a profile on a Steam admin. If he accepts, just file a ticket to him and report. So this is, it's really, it really sucks to just kind of witness all this happen again. Uh, keep in mind, the reason why his attention wasn't fully on this whole thing was because we were playing League of Legends at the time. They're a new player at League of Legends, so they're learning a lot of stuff in League, so there's a lot happening in front of him. And then this was happening in the background where, unfortunately, they were just like, you know, doing their own business, playing the game. They like, Eventually, they had to AFK when things started getting a little bit sus. You can see on the bottom left here, the second screenshot is it's best to add him on Discord. So this is the, the help profile uh, before it's too late. Oh, no. Just like what the support ticket says. Oh, no. Like, fucking. The first red flag is the accident reported thing. The second red flag is if they try to refer to you someone to Discord, that's wrong. Like, don't, don't ever take that. Now, finally, when you talk to that, to the next person on the Discord, the Steam admin, who is most likely a scammer or an accomplice, all right, keep that in mind. They will try to be professional to you. They'll say whatever, you know, just blurt out generic shit that, you know, you, you don't need to hear. Um, but the first thing that, one of the things that they will ask is your purchase history. I don't know if they gave them the purchase history, but they were talking about what does he need my purchase history for? And then that's when a lot of us were also starting to listen in on it and we're like, that sounds pretty weird, you know, like it doesn't sound right. And then the fake admin asks for any information and then specifically the email address. Now, I don't know how they got the email address. I don't know if my friend who got scammed provided the email address, but what I did know was that again on the screenshot here, which I'll show, is that they somehow did get the email address and then they asked for a code unfortunately that code is was given um 
my friend gave him the code and then when it got to this section here that's when things started being red flagged i don't know if anything was lost but eventually a family member actually got the account locked and i'm putting i'm making this video just as a huge like awareness thing like please do not fall for this crap and if you fall for it unfortunately it is on you but be aware to not get caught by this shit yeah that's basically everything like i said like everything that the blog has stated uh is followed up if you want to give it a read uh please click on the link below there's so many different possibilities that you can see here's a some f random certificate of eligibility like what <laughs> okay and then obviously there's this stuff too we don't have much time. I'm giving you an opportunity to comply to fix your account. Scammers refurbish accounts to make it look like a Valve employee by customizing its URL and then providing more background info. If this doesn't scream I'm a Valve employee, then I don't know what does. But I'll finish this video by stating that I could read them out to you, but I don't want to make this video too long. But these dot points here, they, they, they definitely for sure will let you know how Steam does their shit. First off. A Steam moderator will never contact you via chat or third-party app like Discord. No such thing as a Steam admin false report or certificate of eligibility. There is no such thing as that, okay? There is no such thing as an illegal item. Therefore, there's no need to approve it. If they talk about illegal items, that's already blah. If an item does need inspection, a Valve employee does not require you to hand it over. They can just look it up. Duplicated items exist, but they're not illegal. Uh, if you hand it over an item to someone claiming to be Steam owner, consider it gone forever. Apparently the policy is that Steam support does not restore the items. What's important for my friend right now is that they get that their account is safe, their money is safe, their games are still there, it's fine. But you get the idea. Everything like, especially this one, where if they're referring to Discord, that's really stupid. A Steam owner will never mediate between you and another user. Again, if you ever see the I accidentally reported you, scam. Just completely let it, leave it alone, block them, report them, do whatever you need to. Please be aware that this shit still happens. I think my friend's okay now, but he went through so much extra shit just to protect everything, which I'm glad that, you know, that's fine. Hopefully everything goes well. And if you have fallen victim to it, I hope that, you know, again, you've learned from this crap. I really hope that you didn't lose too much. Say no to scammers, man. We don't want, we don't want scammers fucking destroying our shit. All we want to do is just play games and have fun with our friends, man. It's the infinite world of the universe. They have nothing better to do. I'll see you guys later. Bye.